These are some of the challenges going on in Biafra land, going on in our own territory, in our own areas. And that is why every day you see us come here shouting on top of our voice about the issues that are going on in our territory, in our region. It's really quite disheartening. Uh, this is an Igbo son, a Biafran, who returned home from UK. He is from Ogidi, and you can see what really happened. Some people have really seized the opportunity of the insecurity that is going on in the Zoological Republic to inflict pains on their own people. What are you really assisting the Zoological Republic government with the Fulani led government to accomplish as regards to your own brothers? You see this car, all these things you saw there are uh, bullets that rained on the car because they wanted to take him. And just to keep it simple to you, it's just about uh, a month, uh, right now it's about one month uh, that they kidnapped this young man and he was able to come back, come out, paid him some amount of money. And now this one, this is a, an attempt in his life. Do you know what these people tend to accomplish? They want to make sure that all well-doing and meaningful Igbos, Biafrans, will not return home again. Because in this situation, tell me what we make Spencer, his name, to feel free to come back home. Somebody who is living in UK, every time he come around, these are the things he's facing through. Can you not see it? So these are strategies to let our people leave our area. Because... A man who is up and doing, who has what it takes to establish a company. He can as well come home anytime and establish a company. These are the things that um, the zoo government doesn't want it to take place in our area. They want to make sure that um, the economic marginalization continue having impact and effects in our place. Wonderful people, men and women of good conscience and love us our freedom. We welcome you back once again to our news digest. Of course, this is coming from the desk of Nicky Bobby, where we bring you reliable news across Biafra land, as well as um, the Zoological Republic, Africa, and near the world. And today, we want to reveal to you the agenda of the meeting that the Zoological Republic government had with the social media giants. And when I mean social media giants, I am referring to Facebook, YouTube, Google, Instagram, of course, is part of Facebook, Twitter, and um, TikTok. All of them put together. And um, these are the things uh, that the Zoological Republic discussed with them. They planned their motive of summoning them for meeting yesterday. You see, we brought you the information yesterday that FG now is holding meeting with these social media giants. And what was the outcome? Well, what did the FG have in mind? why they are holding this meeting. The Zoological Republic government has called on the social media giants uh, to evict indigenous people of Biafra from their platforms. I know why I use the word indigenous people of Biafra is for it to sink deep down your head to understand what IPOB means. Because to, even to, to this extent, as some people from Biafra land, if you are calling IPOB, to them, it seems that they don't really comprehend what that means. IPOB stands for the indigenous people of Biafra. And this is what the uh, FG is calling those social media giants. If they kick IPOB, or if you say anything about Biafra on YouTube, you are being removed. On Facebook, you are being removed. On TikTok, on Google, on uh, Instagram. This is what the zoo is fighting for. Can you now see it? The call by the zoo government was made by the Minister of Information, Culture and Tourism, Lai Muhammad. Muhammad submitted that the activities of the indigenous people of Biafra on social media is really giving them sleepless nights. And so they believe that um, IPOB, the indigenous people of Biafra, because of the truthful nature of our movements, they cannot stand it. The zoo cannot stand it. If the zoo feels that the indigenous people of Biafra, that is IPOB's mission, 
it's not what they do. it's not real why is it that other civilized countries and nation have not prescribed that POB? It's only the zoo that they cannot uh, stand for what they did. Can you not see? What they are trying to see is that they don't want um, the social media or anything about IPOB to be heard on social media because they reckon that IPOB is a powerful force. Now, let me break it down the more for you. Had IPOB not up and doing and really raising their voice to the world how do you think huh? how do you know that the order that the un gave um, regarding the release of mazin nambikan would have reached the people yes the un will give the other right to nigeria simple and sure that's all but then how will the masses come to understand that this is what is going on so it is the voice of the IPOB, it is the voice of the indigenous people of Biafra, it is the voice of the people like us that's making the world understand what is going on. And now the zoo feels like the best way they can clamp down on us is just to ask them to kick us out from their platform. This is what is going on. But I believe that some of them will have class, they will have integrity. To understand where these people are driving us. Of course, if they go on social media and look at the activities of the IPOB and look at the crowd that they are pulling, I bet you they will not listen to them. Is it not the zoo that at a point they banned Twitter? That's what that's will show you how these people reason, how they behave. That's that. That's that. But we must continue doing what we are doing. If at this point from this point in time, I believe even like Muhammad himself. I uh, will be receiving the information about the indigenous people of Biafra on daily basis because I think that is the market he wants to buy. That is exactly what he intends doing. That is to show you how they reason. They themselves are on social media. Even when Nigeria banned Twitter, even the presidency, because that's what they call, we are equally using Twitter at the same time. Vice president was using Twitter. Different parastatas, their ministers and ministries as well as the senators, they were using um, Twitter at the same time. But they said they banned Twitter from Nigeria, so they don't want the truth to come out. They don't want the common man to really get access. They don't want the truth to be heard by the world. On following that, I um, just want to reason on the vehicles that the presidency of the zoo acquired for the Rep um, Niger Republic. On following that, just want to reason further with you, our listeners, as regard to what is making wave, the vehicles that the presidency of the zoo acquired for Niger Republic. Uh, people are saying that it's waste of resources. People have given their own opinion, various types of opinion. But I want you to remember something. Do you know? That right now, about 30% of the Zoological Republic Army are those from Niger Republic, those from other parts of Africa, that they are non Nigerians. Do you know that? So, when you hear or see that the presidency is building railway to Niger Republic, is um, build, constructing road in Niger Republic, is building refinery in Niger, Niger Republic, now is buying. Um, security vehicles in for the Niger Republic. What does that show you? Do you just think and realize okay, it's waste of resources? Is that what you're thinking? If that's what only thing you can think, I will urge you to think again. That's to show you that the presidency you are hearing today is not being run by Nigerians. That's that. There is something that's going beyond that. Acquiring security vehicle for Niger Republic, where your own country is economically down, the security in your own country is porous. The zoo military, about 30% of them today, is made up of all the people from the zoology or from Africa. And now they intend to increase it the more. Because the, the more they continue deleting uh, the, the soldiers, from other parts of Nigeria, that is serving in Nigeria military, they continue deleting them, sending them to the places that they, their T groups are ravaging. 
the more they delete them, the more they bring their brothers and sisters from Sahel to join them in the military. I tell you, about 30% of the Zoological Republic military today are those from Sahel. And of course, you know that election is approaching. So they need more of them, more of their tea groups to come from Niger, to come from other places they want. And that is why they are busy sending this into them. Developing the Niger Republic instead of developing the Zoological Republic. Do you understand it? Don't just look at it as a normal waste of resources. These people know what they are working at. They know their plan. They are really planning. So that's why sometimes it baffles me when we continue telling you these things. You fail to reason with us. They are strategic in what they are doing. And of course, you know, Britain is still guiding them in a way. I tell you, almost half of the Zoological Republic resources is now in Niger Republic. It's now in some other parts of the Africa. Now ask yourself, are these people who claim to be the presidency actually have the interests of the zoo in mind? If they are, why are they developing other African countries that is not their own? Think. Think. Right from the time of Jubril to this time it has been Development in Niger Republic upon development, resources that's coming from Nigeria, they are developing Niger Republic. I want you to think, think more about it. The Masquera, who is in the Asarok today, where is he from? Just last week, that issue came up again. Some certain group abroad said that they are going to do investigation on whom the identity of that man is. But you know since 2017 that we started proclaiming this you refuse to say anything now that the era is uh, the tenor of that man is about to finish it's now you say you want to go and do investigation about his identity and now they are busy uh sending money to niger republic buying more of security cars and bringing more people into their army and you are still sitting you are claiming our Nigeria, our Nigeria, we support Nigeria. Where do we go from here? This and that. Police take our reader, card reader. We wanted to do our PVC. So to get ready for election, police came, who long came and carried the card reader. Uh, where do we go from here? Nigeria government should help you. You continue saying these things. You continue recycling this same old story. Is there a better who long in the zoo other than the zoo police and the military these are the things we want our people to know by the time you're able to comprehend these things you'll find that it will be easier for you to understand what is going on do not allow those lives and activities to blindfold you don't allow those things activities bb niger this the other the presidency this to cover your sense of reasoning Try to see things from the right perspective. By the time you understand it, then you will know where Nigeria is at this particular point in time. Imagine a country will wake up and meet the social media, media giants and ask them to kick an indigenous people out of their platform. What does this show you? I want, we want you to reason with us. Therefore, people, we thank you for listening. And of course, we believe that you pay attention to what we are saying. And having said that, we want to reiterate unequivocally, saying that it is in Biafra land that we owe our citizenship. And until Biafra is fully restored, we will not rest. We are going to see you on our next video to explain more things that are going on. Until then, we pray that Chukwokika Biyama continue opening your mind and continue protecting you.